My name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do a very simple, very straightforward problem. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Problem number 126. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says, in a rectangle, the width is increased by 50%. So we're going to increase the width by 50%. The question is, in that case, the length would have to be decreased by how much in order for the area to remain unaltered? We do not want to alter the area. The area has to remain unchanged. But in order for the area to remain unchanged, how much do we have to change? How much do we have to de decrease the length if the width were to increase by 50%? Let's, let's find out, shall we? So let's make the original length and the width. The original length and the width. L and W. This is our original area. And this area has to remain the same. What happens to the width? The width, we are told, goes up by 50%. So the new width, the new width is going to go up by 50%, which means whatever the width was before, whatever the width was before, we're going to increase it by half of that amount. Half, half plus, uh, plus the original amount which is two halves, because the whole is a two half, two half and a one half is three halves. So it's three halves W. This is our, this is our new width. Let's let the new length, let's let the new length be L prime. This symbol that you see here, it is read as, it is read as L prime. That's how we read it, which simply means that we are using the same, same letter but it's not the same value, it's a new value, L prime. This is a new value of the length. So let's begin then. So the new area that we're going to get, the, not, not the new area, area remains the same. The area now is going to be the L prime, which is the new length, times the new width, which is right here, 3 halves W, which has to be same as the old area, which is L times W. And that's all there is. All you have to do is solve for L prime. But it's very simple, very straightforward, because you see, the W appears on both sides of the equation. So if you were to divide both sides of the equation by W, W drops out. L prime is what we are interested in. So L prime times 3 halves equals L, which means if you want to find the L prime, if you were to multiply both, both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of, reciprocal of 3 halves, multiply both sides by 2 thirds, and we are done. Because this 2 third and the 3 halves will cancel out. And there is our L prime. L prime, which is the new length, would have to be two thirds of the old length. The new length would have to be two thirds of the old length, not half the old length. People in their rush just assume that if you increase the width by half by 50%, then the length would have to decrease by 50%. The length does not decrease by 50%. As you can clearly see, the length decreases by one third or 33.33 repeating percent. So the question to the answer to the question: what is what is the new what does, what does the new length have to be in order for the area to remain unaltered? The answer is the new length needs to be two-thirds of the old length. Bye now.